Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Legendary Iron Man Exquisite Timing. I saved you the um, loading screen and we're jumping right into our mission today with uh, uh, our good old friends Jessica Jones Rabbit and Maboso the Sniper. Uh, the first thing that we need to do is um, get ready for the enemy troops that are going to uh, drop in. Go, go, go. So let us rush forward. Normally the enemy troops kind of spawn around this area. We're going to see if that holds true. Yeah. It's all either here. If you're starting kind of on this side with the ambush, it's uh, either here or here if you're starting on this side with the ambush. Good. We're going to go here. And let's position ourselves also over here. We don't want to use the sniper in close proximity. So pistol overwatch and a nice shotgun overwatch. Typically it's two to three, yeah, three. That's a bit unfortunate. So they do have the numbers advantage, but we do have overboard shot. And if we play our cards right, we should get a solid shot uh, of the proximity. Makes it almost 100%, um, minus of course the overwatch penalty. So that's a 70% chance to hit him. All right, good. Very, very good. That's a 50-50 to hit either of these joke, uh, jokers. What we can do is we can get into full cover. Make sure that they are regretting their life choices. And how about we're positioning ourselves over here? Still full cover. This might as well kill him. Almost. Heavily injured. Sounds like the lost are getting a lot closer to our position, Commander. Prepare for more incoming. That'll be shot into full cover. Very unlikely that it's going to hit. And there's a lost swarm. I was totally anticipating that that would happen. But it's fine. Jessica, by the way, already got her promotion. These missions are a bit of an exception to the rule because you can get a promotion from this... Um, this um, ambush mission and at the same time get a promotion essentially from the covert ops mission itself right we do not have between the eyes what i'm trying to do is get a couple of extra ability points for killing stuff from high ground And we should be out of range for them. Good, let's see if we can kill those guys here. Moving up. On the move. 
And Jessica can handle the remaining lost. That's fine. Reloading. And our sniper is going to take point. We will need to fight against two, maybe three advents. At this point, I'm assuming it's going to be a purifier, stun lancer, maybe a normal captain. Who knows? Okay, we're carefully advancing. Sniper takes the high ground again. And next round we're going to see a few losts. Yeah, that's the problem if you're not having between the eyes. Loss can be surprisingly sturdy. Take out one. Enemy down. Take out two. Hopefully take out three. Very nice. Now it's time for a reload. And if we're playing our cards right, maybe the pistol will even deal enough damage. Of course not. Should not trigger an advent, but instead we get the high ground, which is a nice advantage. And let's overwatch so that we can kill the last lost. Or kill an advent. Unfortunately, I miss. Good. Let's do the dirty deed first. <laughs> nice. Solid, good, old-fashioned kill. Going down here. Killing the lost. And reloading. Okay, we're doing fine. Like I said, those missions, uh, the dark event for those missions was actually more a blessing in disguise. Because what it means is we're getting relatively easy missions and that's free levels, uh, free levels, free XP, sometimes loot. Of course, the soldiers are also fatigued afterwards, but I mean, who cares? Those here are corporals. They are not our prime team. Yeah, shotgun and overwatch never went so well together in the first place. Swarm is very near. Let's try to snipe this guy. Yeah, we're taking half cover because it's closer. 
There's the loot I was talking about. And there's the Lost Swarm I was talking about. Yeah, let's take some high ground over here. This here is far enough away to not trigger them. An autoloader is a good piece of equipment. Probably not going to use it, though. Because it's very likely that we're not going to see any weapon upgrades. Alright, so... Let's maybe start with the obvious. Okay, so we cleared that one. Let's take a pistol shot. Of course, 95% shot misses. Honestly, I was a bit afraid that that might happen. Reloading. That's still far enough away from the other lost. Unfortunately, Blade Master kills or kills in general uh, with melee weapons do not trigger a headshot. Trying to give as many kills as we can to Mabazu. who reloads and takes a full cover over here. I think Jessica can just overwatch, slowly but surely making our way to the extraction zone. Good, so that's one down. Last um, advent is, by the way, back here. Good to know. Target neutralized. Enemy destroyed. Good. We're reloading. And... Let us take a frontline position here. Yeah, no need to rush in, specifically since we know the last advent is there. Really low chance to hit with a shotgun on this distance. Good, we're moving in a bit closer this time. There we go. And let's take a full cover over here. Long watch overwatch. If the advent is moving into our direction, we'll take an overwatch shot. 
reloading in double overwatch just so that the uh, shotgun is fully loaded and we are slowly but surely moving up still didn't trigger anything leaving our high ground position there Advent has moved into that area and we're now triggering the last pack yeah that's gonna be simple moving in and just slashing him down Good. Last round. That's where another swarm appears. And we don't need to farm all of them. I'll just move here. Mabazu might take one or two with uh, with her. Just trying to make sure that she gets as much XP as possible. And then we're extracting. Already got the promotion with Rabbit. Nothing else to see here, guys. Killed 30 enemies and extracted. Pretty damn good. All right, and we are back. I got something to eat in the meantime. So let's take a look at the loading screen. <sighs> Jessica Rabbit Jones had received a nice promotion. Lovely. Good. We're of course going to take Shadow Step again. Such a nice skill. And you know, the two of them could even theoretically bond up, but we don't need to do that. Got an outloader as some loot. And on top of that, we're now going to get the rewards from the actual mission. No, thank you. We don't need supplies. We got 40 intel and there is another promotion. Unfortunately not for Jessica Jones again. So now it's time for a new mission. Let's take a look. The ability points are nice. Nice to have, but it's, it's not going to make a huge change. We don't need another soldier bond. We don't need supplies. This here could be a thing. It essentially frees up an additional resistance order and gives us another resistance order. The Reaper resistance orders are pretty damn good. And given that we do have... Theoretically, we do have another uh, with Jessica here. We would have another soldier. Yeah, let's, let's first of all get the two of them bonded up, because, I mean, why not? So, thank you, but we don't need a custom bond. As for her weapon, mm, Outer Loader wouldn't be too bad, I think. Like I said, we're probably not going to use it anyways, uh, so... Covert Ops. Let's get Jessica involved. And in terms of extra mobility, who could use that? Um, if anything, it's probably going to be our Templar. But the Templar, first and foremost, needs um, a lot of experience. There's no chance for, for really getting another ambush here. So who else could use the extra movement not necessarily a sharpshooter that's just that doesn't make any sense you know what we can put mike here maybe he gets a promotion who knows 
and the plus one mobility isn't bad. We're mainly doing it for the resistance orders and the covert um, action. So let's do that. On top, we got a promoted soldier. We're going for lightning hands. Yes, thank you. And she's now called Boss. Boss Mabazo. Perfect name. All right, uh, so back to our overall map. We wanted to wait with the intel. We certainly don't need supplies. So let's go for intel. And the next big thing is going to be uh, Shadow Chamber in four days. Once that is done, we can start the actual research. Here we go, May 16th. There's another nice mission, and that is going to be one with a loss, so we're definitely going to use this uh, in order to level up our troops. So in terms of just timing, 18th of May, uh, that's going to be incredibly tight. Let's hope that we will be... that we'll, uh, we'll be getting the instant um, contact with other regions because it takes six days to make contact six times three is 18 days probably around 30 days just to make contact with the target regions and that does not include building of uh, the respective network towers so depending on how things play out we might end up in a situation where we're not fast enough to make contact so Getting uh, the instant contact uh, from uh, behind um, from behind enemy lines could be a good thing. We only got six more days, so let's say we're theoretically speeding this year up. That would put behind enemy lines still after the supply drop. So even if we were to get the instant um, the instant uh, access to those regions, we couldn't really deliver on it. That's too bad. Let's take a look. Uh, for our new mission, we're probably going to take Wrath uh, to level him faster. Divat, Hayward, and Boom Boom. Kind of the number one team. Oh, what? What? what wait. Huh? So, I. Uh, <laughs> well, I, this is incredibly strange. Remember how both of the ammunitions just disappeared and the uh, cores also disappeared? And now after the ambush mission, all of a sudden we got we got um, new ammunition. Huh? Okay, I, something is awkwardly strange here. Okay, anyway, so we got Talon rounds, which isn't too bad. Uh, I suppose we can use that in shotguns. Um, they do plus one bonus critical damage and a lot of critical chance, which isn't bad. Uh, the Dragon Rounds are actually quite good, I like them. Um, plus one bonus damage, so it would make a Sniper a bit better. And have a chance to set the target aflame, which is specifically good against melee targets, because targets that burn can't attack. At least they used to be unable to attack. I think um, Long War of, the, uh, War of the Chosen has changed that. Still, it's one bonus damage and two to four points of extra damage every round, so... Uh, only mechanical units are immune to it. Everyone else takes the damage. Minus purifiers, who of course are taking the full damage as well. So I guess that's okay. I like it. Um, yeah, we're going to get there eventually. So that's going to be our team. Hopefully we're going to level up just a tiny bit more. And uh, last check, once this here is being cleared out, we can finally get... Um, we could get some more um, 
power from uh, placing an engineer here and then uh, start building our GTS which means squad, side up, uh, squad size upgrades are available. This brings us to at the end of today's um, uh, mission. Uh, we're going to join uh, the next mission in our next um, episode. As always, if you like to support the channel, feel free to subscribe. Um, I'm trying to grow the channel, so I'd appreciate that. Um, or uh, you tell a friend or two about uh, the XCOM content here. That would, of course, also be appreciated. Take care, guys, and see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.